Welcome back. This is Cindy from Cindy's Art and today I wanted to paint this bachelor button field and I found my picture online. I usually use Pixabay or Unsplash. Today was Pixabay and those are great sites for you to find reference pictures if you uh, like to paint from one. I do. I try to take my own photos as well. So I started off, this painting is a 5 by 7 size on Arches Cold Press, and I used masking fluid, it's listed in the description below, and I used masking fluid to basically um, paint out or block out the bachelor button flowers because I want to paint those last, and that allows me to paint a nice loose background. So I've listed my colors here for you as to what I'm using from Holbein. And I am basically just touching the sky at this point. As you can see the reference photo, most of it is sky. And you're just going to add in some more uh, grass later on. And I, I put my, pick, my uh, grass up a little high on this painting. It's your choice. Uh, just play with the colors, lay it out. And um, I will be mixing quite a few colors. I'm using, for example, a Veriditor. Uh, blue right there and I mixed it with a gamboji yellow to get this green so I just I would encourage you to use some of your basic colors your blue your red your yellow and then get familiar with mixing those colors so you can see what kind of greens you can come up with it's a lot of fun either use your finger or use a rubber cement eraser to take off that masking fluid that you laid down to protect those bachelor buttons. Once I did that and that background is super dry, I let this dry really, really well. I'm not painting on wet paper. I'm going to outline uh, some of the darker places in the flower. And the reason why I do that is I paint the light first. And then in this picture, I want to know where some of the boundaries are and where the leaves or the stems of this picture exist. And so I will do this next before moving on to my mid-tones and adding in some more greens. After laying in some of my lighter green leaves around these dark stems, I decided to splatter and I used a little bit of opera mixed with a little bit of permanent yellow orange. And those two colors together are just really vibrant. You can see it up on my palette, um, how they're mixed together. I love the color of it. It's just, it screams brightness and that is always nice for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and splatter some of those colors in and then I'm moving on to paint some of the mid-tones of, um, of these bachelor buttons before I paint dark, the darker tones in there.
I'm adding in a tiny bit of shadows inside of these uh, bachelor button flowers. And I continue to look at my reference photo for me to see where those lines are. You can always practice on another side piece of paper and uh, try some different things before you go ahead and paint on a picture. I'm one where, don't be afraid. If you make a mistake, you can fix it or you can start again. Um, so I'm just adding in some more of those darker leaves so I give some more definition to the bachelor buttons. I'm ready to brighten up the green now below and I'm using it like a pure leaf green. It's a beautiful yellow green and I'm putting it straight on top of there just to brighten it up. So even if I have dark layers underneath, putting a lighter color like this in there, it just brightens up uh, the area and then I will add in some darker leaves following that. I've got enough of like the broad strokes and the impression that these are leaves on the bottom. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this picture up with some final details. And I wanted uh, some more of the grass showing up in the foreground. So I've gone ahead and worked with that a little bit. And you'll see me add in some of those darker tones um, just to make it look more like grass. And then I'm gonna finish off with my Mincho pen, which is a Micron pen. It's, it'll be listed in the description, and I'm gonna use that to just add in a few final details mixed in uh, with this picture so I feel like it's crisp. You can see the definition of what's there, and then that's it. <laughs> 